friends hope you are all right today we will discuss an interesting topic of dark energy then we will understand what is the difference between dark energy and dark matter then we will also know about xenon 1d experiment first we will understand what is dark energy dark energy makes up about 68 percent of the universe 27 percent of the universe is made up of dark matter while planets moons and massive galaxies you and me make up only five percent of the universe dark matter attracts and holds galaxies together on the other hand dark energy repels and causes the expansion of the universe we will understand it further okay first how did this all this dark energy and dark matter come to light okay researchers noticed some unexpected results in an underground experiment and noted that dark energy may be responsible for it now we will uh, know about the xenon 1t experiment xenon 1t experiment is the most sensitive dark matter experiment in the world it was operated deep underground at INFN laboratory Nazinali del Gran Sasso, Italy. Finding of the experiment suggests that experiments like Xenon 1T could be used to, to detect dark energy. So it was originally to detect dark matter, but scientists were convinced that it may detect dark energy also. Here you can see the graph, the excess absorbed in xenon 1T in the electronic recoil background at low energies compared to the level expected from known backgrounds indicated as a red line. So here you can observe the fluctuations in the graph. The xenon 1T detector was filled with 3.2 tons of ultra pure liquefied xenon 2.0T of which served as a target for particle interactions. When a particle crosses the target, it can generate tiny signals of light and free electrons from a xenon atom. Most of these interactions occur from particles that are known to exist. Scientists therefore carefully estimated the number of background events in xenon 1T. When data of xenon 1T were compared to known backgrounds, is surprising excess of 53 events over the expected 232 events was observed. Here we will uh, learn about the difference between dark energy and dark matter. We already discussed about this earlier. Okay, Everything we see, the planets, moons, galaxies, you and me only consists of 5% of this universe. About 27% is dark matter and 68% is dark energy. Dark matter works like an attractive force, a kind of cosmic cement that holds our universe together. This is because dark matter does interact with gravity, but it does not reflect, absorb or emit light. Meanwhile, dark energy is a repulsive force, a sort of anti-gravity that drives the universe's ever accelerating expansion. Both dark energy and dark matter are invincible, but dark matter was discovered at the early of 1920s, while dark energy was discovered recently in the 1998. Large scale experiments like Xenon 1T was designed to detect dark matter by searching for signs of dark matter while hitting ordinary matter. But dark energy is even more difficult to find. So how it was detected? In the year 2020, the Xenon 1T reported an unexpected sign, signal. Basically, there was some background noise and the electrons in Xenon 1T on an average move a little bit on their own simple by virtue of kicks due to the background noise even with no dark matter and no dark energy the scientists reported that they saw energies around 2 
kilovolt okay 2 kilovolt and this was way more events that one expects simply due to noise and this could be due to dark energy it was really surprising that this excess could in principle have been caused by dark energy rather than the dark matter Vagnozzi a scientist called this few scientists and astronomers are questioning these experiments like this uh, astronomer from the University of California Berkeley says if it's true it is a stunning discovery actually there are four fundamental forces in nature the strong force the weak force the electromagnetic force and the gravitational force but the theory that they are proposes actually the fifth force which can be explained by these four fundamental forces the team actually constructed a physical model which used a screening mechanism known as chameleon screening to show that dark energy particles produced in the sun's strong magnetic field could explain the signal seen on xenon 1t now to uh, understand this experiment imagine two people carrying something one heavy object and the other one light object the person with the light object will most likely go farther similarly here the fifth force carried by the heavy chameleon in a dense environment does not make it far dr vagnozzi explained this experiment now a question will naturally come to your mind when can the scientist directly detect this dark energy should the upcoming upgrades to the xenon 1t experiment and the similar experiments like lux zeppelin experiment located at the sandpool underground research facility and panda x xt a project of china's jinping underground laboratory can actually help to directly detect dark energy